I'm Adrian Day and you're watching Market One Minute. And this afternoon we have with us Bryce Bradley, who's the president uh, and a director of Thunderstruck Resources. So welcome, Bryce. Why don't you start by just giving us a very brief overview of Thunderstruck? Thunderstruck is a, a, a newly listed mining mineral exploration company uh, on the TSX Venture Exchange with a portfolio of primarily zinc, high-grade zinc, copper, and gold assets in Fiji. Uh, we have licensed 100% of this portfolio, which comprises a little bit over 4% of the island of Fiji. So it's a pretty big package. Okay. And has work been done on this uh, property before? On our two main assets, uh, there has been uh, extensive work done by Anglo-American in the 70s. They drilled, I think, 26 holes. Uh, and hit mineable widths of zinc and copper. Well, Anglo has a reputation for doing very good work, so I'm sure you have a high degree of confidence in what they've done in the past. Yeah, we sure do, and we, we think that we'd only have to twin maybe one or two of their historical holes to bring it into, into compliance with current methods, and uh, then commence a drilling campaign just to give confidence to the TSX and to the exchange okay. the, because we do not have the core but we have all of their drill data and from this drill data we intend to test the full extent and size of the deposit. We know we know it's there, we just don't know how large the deposit is. So how many properties do you have? Uh, we have two large uh, BMS properties, one gold property and one copper porphyry. We also okay. have licensed two large application licenses areas that are, are uh, contiguous to this. And are you drilling all of the projects or just? We're just going to uh, focus on the two uh, zinc copper projects for now. Okay. And we're going to leave the gold project, although it has very high grade surface and rock sampling gold. It's, it's, it's a very good project, we love it. We just aren't going to do anything with it yet until gold corrects and, and, the, and the market cares. Zinc is, is doing very well right now. And tell us a little bit about Fiji. Is Fiji an easy place to work? I don't think a lot of people know. It's not know. conventional. I, I understand that most people I don't know much, don't think of Fiji as a as a mining town, but in fact, it has several mines on it now. There's a Vatakula gold mine that's been producing for over a hundred years, and uh, there's a an iron sands publicly traded iron sands uh, mine that just went into production a couple months ago. So Fiji is actually very mining friendly. They. Uh, their president is also the Minister of Mines, so that really helps with that helps. with anything that we want to do. And, and there's not been any, any major problems in the country in terms okay. of mining. And do they have a modern mining code? Yeah, they adhere to the British mining law. Okay. Which okay. is similar to the Australian and New Zealand. Well, it may not be modern, but it's good. But it's solid. <laughs> How about, tell us a little bit about uh, the people that you have on the, on the uh, team. Yeah, so we started this as a shell company uh, with Brian London who runs the New Orleans Investment Conference of course and writes where we are now <laughs> and writes the uh, gold newsletter and Dale Walster who's a geologist who uh, was responsible for uh, Hathor uranium getting sold to Rio Tinto that was a very big deal uh, back in 2011. It was big. It was big and, and we wanted a team a small team that we knew and we trusted and we just started the shell we financed it ourselves and then we went out looking for assets and it took us much longer than we expected partly partly because we named the company thunderstruck and so everything we looked at you know we look at, look at each other and go are you thunderstruck and be like no i'm not thunderstruck and we go next uh, they were far too expensive or it came with bad management uh, and it took this long for the, the fiji assets and we almost didn't get the fiji assets cuz although they were stellar they were uh, they were also too expensive initially right. well no i mean this is obviously the time to be buying assets and it just takes time to go through a lot to find the one that's right. And it ended up being really good for Thunderstruck because we just waited it out. We didn't, of course, didn't spend any money, and we just uh, we just waited it out until we could find something, and this landed on our lap again. So uh, luckily, the uh, vendor came to us a year later, and we negotiated terms that were less than 10% of the original okay. price. So how about your background? You haven't told us about. Uh, my background is um, uh, essentially in investment banking for the last okay. 15 years. So I, I've had two boutique investment banks with partners that I've since sold and I was responsible for primarily raising capital for the junior mining sector, junior mining exploration sector, sometimes 
uh, sometimes solar and alternative energy. So I made the decision to own, to own the entire process, although that's very risky as well. I decided to own it, start the shell right from the beginning, finance it myself, find the team myself, and, and find the assets myself. And, and so far, it's worked. We only have 12 million shares out. We only have three directors, and, and we have a great team. So far, so good. Are your plans to develop this yourself? If a partner came in at this stage, would you look at a partner? We are looking at partners, actually, and some of them are pretty big. Don't know where that will go, because they may just want to take over the whole company, which I don't sure. think we want to do at this stage for our shareholders' sake. However, the most obvious partner down the road is going to be the Chinese, whether we like it, we don't like it, it's a neutral comment. Uh, that they are in, in Fiji, they're building hospitals, right. they're building roads. They own, they've just taken that gold mine uh, private that's in the nor north of uh, Fiji, the Vatakula mine. So they own that now and they, they have smelters closest to the, to the island. We will probably end up doing a deal with them or doing an offtake agreement with them at some point. Okay. It just makes sense. But it would be more likely on a project scale, property scale rather than a company then scale. Then on a company scale, oh, preferably, good. preferably. Well, it sounds really exciting, Yeah, I'm Bryce. very excited about it. It, yeah, it took I mean, a long time, a lot of work to get here, and it'll be a lot of work. And so. a lot of work to go forward. But it but, sounds like you've got the people, you've got the plan, mm -hmm. you've got the projects. Got the plan. That's more than most people have. We're controlling, we're trying it. to control what we can control, and just, you know, the rest is white noise. Okay. Well, listen, let me wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And I'll be following it closely. Uh, and thank you, everybody, for watching Market One Minute.